Hello everyone and welcome back to the YouTube channel. I am Lilo Labisi. If I for the first time, I would need you to smash that subscribe button, okay? I'm trying to get to 1,000 subscribers. I am currently on 982 subscribers. Your subscription is so important to me because it's an indication that you find some value in my videos and you want to keep on seeing this content every week, okay? So, subscribe. <laughs> Alright, so today I'm going to show you how to use the CV Assistant on Microsoft Word. Usually when I'm trying to apply for a role or when I'm trying to update my CV, what I do is I go on Google and I search for job descriptions for the particular role I'm working in. So I can see the industry relevant keywords and the way people in similar positions are writing their CV. I read through those job descriptions and that is what informs what I put in my CV. Then a couple of days ago I was having a conversation with my friend and I told her that I was trying to read through a couple of job descriptions on Google. And then she was like, wait, why are you doing that? There is a more efficient way to play about it. Then she showed me how to use the CV assistant on Microsoft Word. Personally, I had no idea that there was something like that, right? And that was just how I learned something new. And I thought, why not share it to you guys? Once you've opened your Microsoft Office, the first thing you want to do is click on New. After clicking on new, as opposed to you coming here and clicking on a blank document, if it's an instance where you've never written a resume or a CV, you could just come here for online templates and then you type in the word resume. After typing that in, you press enter and then resume templates pops up and then you can just scroll down and select any more you want, right? So what I'll do here is just go for a less colorful one. I'm selecting this here. So once you've clicked on the templates that you want to use, the CV Assistant pops up automatically. If you are using the Microsoft 365 version or if you have the recent versions of Microsoft Word. But if there is an instance where you are not using the Microsoft 365 version or your Microsoft Word is not the most recent one, what I will do is I will close the CV Assistant so I can show you how to find it. So once you've opened your document and if you have your CV before, you can just open it automatically instead of going for a template, right? So what you do is to come up here and you click on review, you double click on that. The moment you double click on it, you go to the far right and then you see the CV Assistant, you double click on it and the CV Assistant pops up. Right. The internet speed determines how fast it's going to pop up, right? So if it's an instance where you've never written this before, you could just come here and just update it here. Just write your name, first name, right? Let's do that with our lab scene. So you can just go ahead and update the other part of the CV, that's what you're interested in. So for the CV assistant, which is what we're focusing on, once you come here, you will see an option for you to put in some information so this particular one is asking you for the title of the role so let's say you're a marketing intern for example typing in marketing intern after typing it in i'll click on this option the end is asking for your industry so let's say you're working in banking industry then you click on banking and then it generates work experience examples it's from linkedin right so it has taken information of people who are working in marketing internship roles and in the banking industry and that's what we have here so as opposed to you just going to google and trying to read job descriptions of people or just writing your cv without having an experience or an idea of what people who are working in similar positions as you are putting in their cvs so what you do in this instance is you can see you click on read more you can see this particular role is marketing and sales intern. So it, there are different bullet points to highlight what this particular person has done in their role as a marketing and sales intern, right? So obviously, you're not going to just copy and paste it. You have to read through it and pick out the industry-specific keywords that has been used. And then you contextualize it to your own experience. Do not just copy and paste, right? So there are some things that you probably overlook or you even forgot that you've done in your role. Right, and these things just help you to kind of juggle your memory, right? Then you scroll down so you can see implemented bonus offers and benefits as an incentive for you can see different experiences. If you scroll down, you see other ones, see marketing co op, read more, you see different things that this person has done in their role as a marketing intern. And if you scroll up, you see an option for you to filter by top skills. You click on this drop down. And let's say social media, for example, you click on social media. Let's say the person has worked as a marketing intern 
in the social media space or that is what the person was more focused on so when you click on social media you see they bring up more examples that is more particular to social media management under marketing and then you click on read more so that is the best way for you to use cv assistant it helps you to use industry specific keywords so what this video has been useful to you more than the other do not forget to smash the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up 